craven, torn apart by the greedy, weakened and exposed, forever on the defense. But no longer. Empire by this is Rampin, and welcome to a new campaign that I'm going to be starting today in Warhammer 3, where we're going to start my campaign in Immortal Empire. Where, after a very long faction po vote on my community tab, we've decided on Karl Franz. And I have decided that with him, I shall conquer all of the Warhammer world, which is going to be interesting. But I love this because out of all the factions and all the uh, faction leaders, I think this makes the most sense, and I love the idea of the Empire claiming all of the known world. So we're going to go about it in kind of my own method that I like to go on and go about it. And we'll focus in a little bit more on an RP aspect, where I am going to actively try and work with allies and eventually betray those allies. And we'll kind of see how things play out for us overall in uh, the sandbox of the world to see what happens. So, I'm going to kind of go over a little bit of lore. I'll let you guys kind of pause and read through this if you guys are want to. If you guys have not already seen this yourselves, this is the glorious map. And then the lore details, which I don't think anything's actually changed for Cause Friends specifically. Uh, and then the other little bit tidbit here, we are going to be using uh, very hard, very hard battle difficulty. And I'm going to be having sea lanes and end game scenarios and active. I am tempted. Um, I'm going to actually increase... Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I know this campaign's going to take a little bit of a time, because I like to go through things in a casual pace and in more what makes sense to me. I'm going to... So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to increase it differently, just to max it. Fuck it. <laughs> Why not? And I'm going to then also, because I don't know what this actually does uh, for like the difficulty part, but I will just increase the timer a little bit. Let's just say like by 50 turns. So give us 50 more turns... And see what happens. Because I have no idea, but sure. I'll kind of just move it back 50 turns. And we'll increase the difficulty a little bit. Because if we're going to be conquering the world, I want us to have some sort of like big end game threat that we have to deal with. Um, similar to like, I've done a Cyrodiil Empire campaign. Similar to like what I did here, where I conquered the map. And I had to deal with like, the Oblivion Crisis. So it's kind of a similar thing here, where we can have something along those same lines. So let's try and make it difficult. Um, we'll have to see how bad this is actually going to be. Probably just going to like double the amount of sacks they spawn, which could be interesting. I'm going to hope this doesn't fuck me over. But let us get into this. I'll leave everything else default. I just want to have it so that we have a little bit of time here. Uh, let's make this like 15 turns. 15 turns. Yeah, we'll do that. Again, I don't know if like, the default settings would have been good enough and that would have been hard enough. I have no idea. I've been doing a little bit of playtesting as Dar Durthu right now. I've gotten like to turn like 70-ish and I haven't been able to get to the end game scenarios just yet. So I have no idea if this is going to fuck us over. But I think it should be fun either way as we try and conquer all of the known world. First and foremost, we are going to be focusing on, for sure, securing our homeland. I'm going to be trying to work with the Empire forces as much as I can. I want them to like me. I actively want to work with my allies, especially because the um, quality of life changes that we've gotten from Warhammer 2 to 3 for diplomacy make it so much more fun to work with your allies. So first and foremost, we need to focus on taking out the uh, secessionists first. That's our top priority. Zoom on in this. Right, let's go through this. I also love these like little zoom-ins. These are kind of cool. I like these. Kind of immerse me into the world. Now's the time, men of the Empire, to just, unite. It's a tiny little thing, but I love it. So again, this is the the currently we're at the beta of it. I'll just kind of scroll through this if you guys want to read through this yourselves. And we are going to just uh, get straight on into this. Karl Franz, I'll start off and start hitting this army right around here. I'm probably going to be going kind of in a clockwise uh, clockwise uh, formation to try and get all these cities. I'm kind of finishing up with, I know there's the one fort between us and the Bretonian lands. And so I know we're going to probably, that's going to be the last area we have to hit. So let's focus on this army first. 
kill these guys off. They're just all infantry for the most part, besides like one crossbow unit. Um, I think, I kind of like this little area up right up here. I might send my guns up there to kind of like shoot into the enemy forces. And then I'll probably have my Reichsguard also maybe kind of go loop around this right side. As long as you guys get rid of the crossbows, the rest of this army is going to die pretty damn quickly, for the most part. So we can kill these guys off, and I think they do give me enough movement so I can hit the city right behind them. Salt that as well, and then I'll slowly be kind of walking about recruiting units as we're making our way to gather everything. So let's again, let's take my some infantry. Let's have you guys kind of group up right here and then Carl Franz is going to support you because he has an ability that increases leadership and melee attack for units and then uh, my mortars you should probably be fine just like right there guns I'll have you guys kind of go off to the side and my Reichsguard over here to kind of help support you so let's start the battle let's have Carl Franz and everybody let's kind of have you move up this way my rifles kind of move up this way and the Reichsguard you're going to move up and around and you're going to try and get to the crossbow so start unloading on them with my mortars. Where are they hitting? They're gonna try and hit on this right flank of theirs. Or left flank of theirs. No hits just so far, that's okay, that's fine. But yeah, you guys just kinda form up there, hold up, get my guns to be able to kinda shoot around the back side here. Yeah, like right about here should be perfect. You guys go right there. Reichsguard, you're moving around. Now the crossbow's gonna be trying to shoot, yep, they are gonna try and shoot my rifles. Okay. Let's have you guys, you should be okay. Let's say my Reichsguard are coming on in. Let's have you try and focus them down. And mortars, I'm tempted. That's how you hit this one spear in it. Because they're actually kind of making their way over towards my rifles. So you guys need to start unloading on this guy. I'll have to pull you guys back in a second. That should be okay. You're about to be charged by the brave knights of the Empire. Absolutely destroy those archers for me, please. Or crossbowmen, please. So that's good there. You guys are doing some decent damage. I'm going to have one of you kind of run over here. One of you run over this way as they're getting a little close. Speed on these units is 33, 30, so you're slightly faster than them, just barely. So try and run away, please. You should be able to, yeah, you can form up. Keep kind of running away there. Carl Franz, let's have you kind of buff our troops here a little bit. Their lord's over here. He's fighting my swordsman. Reichsbard, you finish them up. Let's have you go hit these spearmen here then. You just start unloading on the spearmen as they're trying to make their way over to us. So you guys can turn around now and start opening fire. As this guy's now square between my two rifles, and he should die from this. Because if any, if they're fighting one, the other one's shooting at least. They're actually now routing. Perfect. Reichsguard, yeah, shattered those spearmen. There you go. Looks like most of them are now running. Reichsguard, let's get you pulled back a little bit. Kind of chase some of these routing units down so they just don't come back. Call friends, help out the swordsmen. Let's see, so I've got my great swords ready. Let's kind of move you and my halberds. Let's start kind of flanking a little bit. Let's see, are all my guns done here? Yes, they are. So I can have you guys kind of run over this way. I think they're about to give up at this point, though, because the Lord's still here, but I can have all of you guys focus him down. Reichsguard, just keep running down these swordsmen, capture them for some more experience, and make sure these don't get away. And there we go. Yeah, you just gave up. There you go. So there's one battle. We didn't take that much damage. That's pretty good. We took a little bit more on my uh, swordsman, but that's the only unit that really took that much damage. So that should be okay. Now we can start trying to make my way on into that city just behind these guys. We're going to assault that immediately. And then after that, I'll be able to try and get a little bit of troops. Because uh, I'm at nine guys right now. I can get, I think, two units per turn um, to slowly get myself to a full stack army as I try and make my way um, to secure the Reichland. Because that's going to be our first and primary goal right now. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing after that. Because we have a lot of avenues. We could either go kind of towards Bretonia and start expanding into there. Because I know there's Grom is down that way. Grom the Paunch. Um, I'm going to get... Let's just get the replenishment. Because that will fully replenish all my infantry there. Um, we could kind of make our way down there. Make our way over here into that land. We could go up towards Marienburg. That might be an option. Otherwise, I know trying to go after maybe the Vampire Council would not be a bad idea either. I think we'll kind of wait and see like how things play out. I usually like kind of reacting to the game and seeing how it's playing out for us. Um, let me get the um, Route Marcher. Because I want to get the Route Marcher and the Inspiring Presence early on. So we can just keep getting more some experience. And actually, uh, maybe I can hold off. No, I, let me get that first. Get that first. And then also, I want to, before we hit uh, Grunberg, let me do a look at my research. 
So I think for us, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get, I think, I want to go for this first. I kind of want to go for this, uh, get some more inf uh, armor for my infantry. Uh, because at the moment, we got to start out with 30 armor for most of my basic infantry. Getting that up to 45 early on would actually be kind of nice. So I think that won't be a bad thing for us to kind of go for. Um, I know eventually I do want to probably get the... Yeah, this will give us more ammunition. Uh, they're not going through a lot of their ammunition that much right now, so that doesn't matter. But I will want more weapon strength for sure for my skirmishers. So we'll definitely be grabbing that. But let's hit Grunberg here. Let's have yes. you guys kind of push on in, claim Grunberg. And then after this... Um, we'll have to get, take some time, recruit some more men. Um, I'm probably going to try and make sure we have a good balance of... I only have access to, I think, archers and, like, basic spearmen without shields right now. Um, until I upgrade the um, settlement around here. Which I do at least start out with a decent amount of money. So I can start upgrading um, Altdorf a little bit. And we'll start trying to improve our military troops that we can actually gain access to right now. Okay, so for this city right here... I'm going to... I usually kind of like focusing... I don't like fighting down here. Um, I usually kind of like fighting over around here because there's these two avenues of entry. Uh, let's do this. I'm going to say... We'll take my swordsman and my halberdiers along with one rifle. You're going to go this way. Then I'll have my... Um, let's say... Great swords and one other rifle over here. And maybe my Reichlin, uh, Reichsguard over this way too. Uh, mortars is kind of set up here. And I think I'll have Karl Franz with the main force. So kind of split our forces up a little bit like so. So you guys kind of start pushing your way forward. Same with you guys. Kind of push your way forward this way. Uh, I don't think we... Can we... I don't even know if I want to waste my ammo on trying to hit that. These towers might not even be able to do much. Let's have you focus on the crossbowmen. Crossbowmen or infantry. Oh, that was a good hit. Uh, whatever you think you can get a little bit better shots in. Let's have my hand gunners try and kind of line up over here. Carl Franz and everybody else will kind of line up here. There. Great swords. So I see they've got, um, let's see, one swordsman and one spearman unit over here. I'm going to have my great swords kind of rush on in. Hand gunner. Well, actually, hand gunners run right here. Great swords right here. I'll kind of wait until they seemingly want to try and advance on us. And then I can start trying to push my way forward. So let's, let's make sure I take you guys out of these. It kind of makes it a little awkward. Okay. Carl friends and everybody else, let's have you kind of start pushing forward into the infantry. I could try and take out the towers with my mortars, but I don't know. You're not that accurate, honestly, so I don't think I'm going to. Mortars, you need to keep just trying to hit the skirmishers right here. Doing some good damage right now onto the crossbowmen. Let's see. And then this unit here... You should be opening fire. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, open up on that swordsman. Keep unloading on him, and then the great swords. As soon as they get a little close, I can have them rush forward to try and deal with that unit. Call friends, you guys. Yeah, kind of push it onto this unit. And this is actually a pretty good spot right now that you can keep just unloading into the spearmen from this angle. So keep trying to do that. Try to try and shoot that unit there. Yeah, you're not taking that much. You're taking on damage actually. Yes, yeah, actually pull you out of here. You're, taking, you're just being shot up by the towers. I think my infantry is fine as they are here. I great that swordsman's not even trying to advance over to us just yet. Okay. Keep taking those free shots over there. I'll have my other rifle unit make their way over here. Number wise so far. Ah, uh, we almost outnumber them now. We're slowly starting to push through them. Karl Franz is leading our men bravely through here. The crossbows are practically already dead. Let's hit this one swordsman right here. Mortar, yeah, keep focusing on the skirmishers primarily. You still not advancing over here? No, not yet. Okay, so I think now at this point, let's move my great swords forward. I'm gonna have my hand gunners. You'll start moving forward in a second. Looks like they're actually trying to bring these guys over to help out against Carl Franz. So now let's actually bring in my Reichsguard and great swords. So right now you're gonna try and make your way on in here. Okay, my Reichsguard are almost in position, and my great swords. My great swords are charging on in against these spearmen. And then as soon as you guys are in position, now we can su just surround them with my Reichsguard. This should absolutely destroy these guys. There you go. Also, I'm kind of sad that I don't get access to blood just yet. We'll be able to turn that back on in the campaign a little bit later, but this first video, at least, will not have access to it, sadly. Because, yeah, these swordsmen are getting slaughtered. My rifles are right next to them, so we can kind of unload onto this other swordsman that's trying to help those spears. Uh, Carl Franz is actually losing over here. What the hell? How are you guys losing? How dare you? Okay, because my mortars are trying to unload on here. Uh, let's see, they're cross yeah, the crossbows came back. 
Okay, well, as soon as you're done here, I need to move my hand gunners. Hand gunners move over there, and let's bring everybody else back over this way. So let's have Reich's Guard make your way there. Great Swords, let's have you kind of also go around this way as well. Bounce Power, we do outnumber them now at this point. I need to just get my men over to kind of support them, as my infantry is not doing as well as I would like. Uh, I don't know if it's like my art mortars are accidentally shooting my own men. Um, no, that that actually is perfect. That one mortar shot finished them. Awesome. Although I think I may have accidentally shot some of my own men. Honestly, I'm not going to mind too much. I'm the Empire. I'm kind of expecting that we'll have a few casualties from friendly fire. <laughs> Just a couple. So there we go. So now we at least have uh, another settlement around here. Uh, I will try and get some more troops to be recruited around this area. Oh, I'm debating if we have enough movement to sack and uh, occupy it. I think we do. I think I was close enough to the area that I can sack it and uh, occupy it. Because that usually works out better for giving us a little bit more money. So I'll try and do that. And then I need to start upgrading Altdorf a little bit. We need to try and focus on growing the region as quickly as possible. So we can get to our higher tier units. Because right now... My Empire Swordsman and everybody else is not going to be the worst right now, but I know eventually we're going to need some of my higher tier units if we're going to survive. Especially we're going to need my artillery pieces. Let's sack the city, get a little bit more money. Ooh, more improved wound recovery time. Nice. And then call friends. Now occupy it. So let's occupy it there. And then um, from here, let me then give you the inspiring presence so that we just start giving your men increased experience. Um, I can't get anything from the electric count stuff just yet, sadly. And regiments around we need to be at least ranked 10. So none of those are available just yet. So what I'm going to do is... Um, we're going to be fighting a lot of people with skirmishers for the most part early on. I think what we're going to do is let me get some swordsmen and let me get some archers. So get some basic archers and some swordsmen. Do that for the one turn. And then I need to repair this stuff. And then let's upgrade this building here. And then once we get that, we can actually upgrade the training field. So that'll be nice. Um, diplomacy. Let's start off and check out diplomacy and see what we can kind of look at. So for right now... Um, Land. You guys actually like me a decent amount. Let's see if I can get anything from you. So I can get some trade and military access with you. And then I will ask for a little bit of money in return. Just so I can kind of get a little bit more out of you guys. Um, let's see. Who else can I maybe talk to? Uh, Notchland. No. I'd have to probably give them money. Most of the other Empire factions don't really like me a ton. I can get some non-aggression non pact with um, Boris Todbringer here. I will balance that offer there. Just get a little bit more yes. money out of you. And then I think that's the all of them. As a fellow. Yeah, for the most part, at least for right now, that's so, going to be as much as I can do to get you guys to like me. Okay. And then I just want to double check and see. So looking at the electric counts. So you actually don't have fealty to me. Okay. That is actually one reason why I would not maybe mind going after Marienburg. That might not be a bad idea. So the let's see. Empire. So Nordland's got five fealty with me. So. Boris has three. Um, yes. Hutchins is six. Austin's at six. All right. Uh, you guys are at seven, so you guys really love me. Uh, four with Ostermark, the Sterling Empire. five, yes. five to Averland, and time. seven with Balthazar. Um, so. two with Wizenland. Okay, so Wizenland is not liking like me much. And then I have no oh, fealty oh, with uh, the Von Karsteins. So we will have to try and push you guys out of there at some point. So out of the two options. I really think, like, it's either Marienburg or Von Karstein. It's kind of where I want to start off after we get rid of the Secessionists. One of those two options I think will work out best for us. Because I think we can kind of leave this area alone for now and hope that Grom doesn't kick the ass of uh, the Paravon areas over here. As long as he doesn't do that, I can probably, maybe, it'd probably be easier just to go after the Marienburg. You guys are closer. We'll have to kind of see, though. So let's kind of get one more. Yes. Let's get an intern in here. I'm so glad that right now the interns are not nearly as bad as I was expecting with Immortal Empires. Especially due to the fact that, like, by turn 60, usually like, half the factions are dead by then already. Okay, so the Secessionists seem to be having most of their forces in Eilhard right now. Um, let's have Carl Franz. I'm going to keep moving along this way. Let's go. And I'm going to keep recruiting one archer and one infantry unit every turn to slowly fill up my army. So giving some swordsmen and some archers. And then Altdorf, again, it'll take two turns until that upgrades. But we should be able to hopefully hit uh, Ubersrik next turn. Uh, they've got six guys right now in that army. So if they brought them over here, they would outnumber me a little bit. I mean, I hope they don't. Because as long if they just leave Ubersrik uh, alone for me right now, I can pretty easily push on in there. Um, I'm going to give it a couple more turns until we try and talk with my allies. Actually, no. First, let me... Um, I, need to talk, I think I want to improve my relations with Wizenland. 
Because right now, you guys don't like me a lot. You have, like, a really bad um, fealty to me right now. So I'm going to try and improve my relations with you. To try and get you guys to like me a little bit more in case your um, fealty goes down any further. Um, Midland also is a little low, but you guys are already liking me because I am getting a little bit more uh, relations with you. So I think that should be fine. I really would like to be able to trade with you guys. Yes. Because they're starting to like me more. Uh, oh, they're going to... They, oh, there we go. Okay, so I can get trade with agreements with you guys. So I can do that. Ask for some money. All right. There's a little bit more cash for us. Marienburg is starting to like me a little bit more. Historical relations is really bad. But there's some tolerance there a little bit. Secessionists absolutely hate me. No shit. Um, Nordland again. And I'll probably take a couple turns until you guys are happy enough that I can maybe start getting something with you guys. Okay, nothing of note. And let's see, did they move over? No, they did not. Okay, so they did leave Ubersreak alone. Perfect. So now we can push on into this city. We've now got 13 units. Far better. And we're going to have a bit more archers this time. <clears throat> so let's get rid of this garrison. And then I'm hoping our best case scenario is that the secessionists do not move towards the fort. If they take that army right now from Aleheart and bring it down to that fort, that's going to be difficult. Just a little bit. Uh, simply due to the fact that that area around there, that's a walled fort with a garrison of 14 units in there on top of what they already also have that they could bring down there. I don't think they have enough movement to get there in one turn. That's my hope, at least. I hope. So, what we're going to do with this fight here, I think what I'm going to do is, let me take, uh, I'd say Carl Franz, my greatswords and my halberds, and then my archers. I'll have you guys kind of push in, yeah, let's have you guys kind of push, like, straight up this way. So, I'll take Carl Franz and you two. So, you guys are going to push right here. I'm going to have my swordsman. I'll have you guys kind of go around the side here. I'll bring the rifles around this way as well. But yeah, archers, I'll group you guys up here. And I'll kind of split my forces. I'll have my Reichsguard. You guys can just go capture points. And then my mortars, I think, should be good, like, right around here. So I'll start the battle there. Start the battle. And then I'll start moving forward with Carl Franz and everybody. And then my archers, you need to rush up here. Let's have you focus on the skirmishers specifically. We need to focus them down. Swordsmen, let's have you start trying to make your way over around here and capture that point. And the Riflemen, I'll have you guys kind of move along this way as well with them. Reichsguard, you just need to start capturing points. So just start capturing points, because I think they don't have enough men to really be able to hold every single point. So we can just kind of take advantage of that. And then just Karl Franz and his forces pushing forward. How dare you decide to secede from the Empire when we are beset on all sides from all manner of creatures that want to destroy us. We will bring you back into the Empire, one way or another. And at this moment, we're choosing the hammer. So let's have you guys keep pushing forward. So keep pushing forward there. Archers, let's push you guys up this way, get a little bit closer. My mortars need to move a little bit closer. You guys can't hit them fully just right now. Because let's move you guys a little bit closer. I want you to focus on the crossbowmen, ideally. The infantry, I'm not too worried about pushing in with Carl Franz and my archers. You're currently capturing that point very slowly, and they have nothing over here right now, so my, uh, my swordsmen will be able to very easily capture that on their own. But Carl Franz and everybody, let's have you guys kind of push forward. Actually, they're not going to push in just yet, because you guys just kind of keep pushing this way. Uh, Mortar, you can now hit those crossbowmen, so start trying to do that. Archers, you can at least start opening up now. All of you guys so just focus on the swordsmen here. Same there. Great swords, all of you try and make your way over there as well. Kind of threaten them, although my mortars might be able to do enough damage. As I said, you guys also focus on them. Call friends, give a boost here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, good job, mortars. Took out half of those archers in one shot. Let's have you try and hit these spearmen here, maybe. Try and hit those guys. Swordsmen and gunners are almost here. Call friends is making short work of these swordsmen with my halberds. Good job. Uh, this one point is just about to be conquered. I'll have you go after this one next, after that. Should be any second now. Right about, there you go. Okay, so now make your way up here. Got friends, you're doing well there. Great swords are kind of spread out for whatever reason. Uh, keep making your way over here. That actually might be just to not be shot at by the mortars. <laughs> that might be honestly why you're doing that. Yeah, keep doing that. Uh, swordsmen, okay, swordsmen have captured this point. 
I'm gonna have you guys go for this next point there. My rifles all line up this way. Because once this unit, their uh, general's already almost dead, their captain's almost dead. As soon as you're out of the picture, this should be a bit easier. I don't like how my great swords are kind of all over the place, but hey, it makes it a little bit le less likely that you're gonna be shot at by my own mortars. Yeah, like see, if I was a normal blob, that would have killed several of my men. That one too. Okay, we've pushed through these forces now. I need to have you guys start trying to break this barricade. I'm gonna just keep moving my uh, mortars up a little bit closer. Archers keep them pushing it up as well. I think my riflemen, since they're not actually needed right there, I'm gonna move you guys over around this way. They do have a barricade, but it's facing the wrong direction. <laughs> so I think my swordsmen can still just kind of walk. Do you seriously have to go all the way around? Real guys, guys, you can walk up this side. You can even just walk around there. I, that's okay. Sure, do do you guys do you? That's fine. That's fine. Because Carl Franz at the moment, him and his forces are trying to make their way to the main city center, where there's not a lot left. They've lost um, most of half their army at this point. So let's have you guys keep pushing over. This point has been captured. I'll bring you now properly over here, my Reichsguard, to try and help us claim this final point. And then my archers, you need to keep pushing up a little bit more. Kind of go right there. And then my hand gunners. That one unit's almost in range. I'll try and get you guys a little bit closer to try and hit them. Because if they just lose a little bit more, they should just give up at this point. Because most of these guys are practically all dead. Oh, what the hell? The end. How dare you? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, I don't think I have anybody in time that can get there. Please break. Don't kill my mortars. Please don't kill my mortars. That was not what I wanted. Whatsoever. Okay, infantry, focus on this one swordsman, because he's the only that one that should be left. Yeah, my riflesman can hit them there. There we go. Okay, almost lost my mortars. Me losing my mortars this early on could be a huge issue. Because, um, I think, what tier does it take for me to get mortars or just artillery pieces again? Because, honestly, that's the one mainstay of the Empire, for sure, is our artillery pieces are amazing, and I really need to get them as soon as I possibly can. I know for myself, I don't really want to have, like... Okay, there will be some armies I make that will be specifically Doomstack-esque. But, for the most part, I really like balanced armies. Oh, that reminds me, I forgot to mention, if you guys have any ideas for, like, army names or uh, general names or unit renames, please, re uh, so, like, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I love taking into consideration, like, naming, um, like, greatsword units, or, for example, like, uh, something. Um, I know, for example, uh, we had, um, like, the Iron Wolves. I, I was, in my last campaign as Bellicor, I was had some uh, Zinch Chaos Warriors that uh, we called the Iron Wolves, for example. Um, I think we have kind of a lot of fun with that. Ooh, that's a really nice item to get this early on. Ten some armor and some ward save for Call of Friends. Fuck yeah, I'll gladly take that. That's an amazing item to find right now. Um, we do definitely we definitely have enough movement to get into here and sack it and then take it and some more movement range too. Nice. You also now have your war horse, Call of Friends. So let's have you now occupy it, I see no occupy it, and then let's keep kind of getting more archers and some more infantry right there, and then um, I. Th think for now I actually want to get this hold the line ability that way so any units around you have some more melee defense so we do at least have 10 wards it with you which is nice and you have up to 130 armor right now which is crazy also why are there different ranks for the Pegasus because I know you auto level yeah you get the first level automatically Oh, nice. So I could actually get more bonuses for it. But I'm going to be getting this Death Cloud, which is at rank 16. But for now, let's get the whole the line ability. After that, I'm probably going to be grabbing more of the blue line. Actually, maybe there's some of the red line first. I like going down the blue line usually first until I can get down to this. But I might grab the red line a little bit until we take out um, Helm, uh, Helm Guards. Because I'm hoping... It does not look like you guys have enough movement to get over here in one turn. I'm gonna hope not, because I, I desperately need to get make sure I don't fight you guys in that area together, ideally. Um, I do need to repair this. I'm gonna demolish this building since I've already got one, although this can be up to rank three. Actually, well, no, I'll be able to, it'll be more easily available to upgrade this area. Yeah, because I think this is gonna finish next turn. This would take longer to upgrade, so yeah, I will demolish this training field. I'll put something else there, I would say, maybe um, something for more growth, ideally. Because right now, next turn, that can finish up, and I'll be able to start upgrading my barracks in Altdorf. I can also put it into some other city at some later date if I really want to. I know usually I want to have any tier 4 or 5 buildings in my capital region, because that area then actually can get to those uh, tier 4s and tier 4 and 5. 
some of the minor buildings that are only up to tier three, I usually want to put into the minor settlements. Ooh, let's see. So what's this about? So an ungentlemanly agreement. Ah, oh, what is this about? What is this about? So something about a loan. Um, I think to try and balance this out a little bit more, I'm gonna side with Ostermark. I'm gonna side with them just to make it so that they are at four, five of fealty instead of uh, just four. So we'll kind of try and bounce it out a little bit more there. And then, ah, uh, damn it, you guys did have enough movement to get there. I will not obey. Okay. No. That's not ideal, Who calls? but we can deal with this. Um, let me get the rally field upgrade. Grab that. I also want to get the blacksmith. Because I do want to be able to try and get the upgrades eventually for these units. Also, increasing my global recruitment capacity would be really nice. So I think we're going to grab the blacksmith around here. And then also, I want to grab a fields to get some more growth. And it's going to be the same building I think I'm going to grab over here. Because that takes me a while to get to those. We'll probably be replacing some of these buildings later on. But for now, we want to focus on growth. So growth, growth, and growth. And then I'm going to upgrade this region as well. Now. Okay, now I do not have enough movement to be able to sack this area. So we'll have to want to occupy Aleheart immediately after we take it. So let's push on up here. Push up here, claim this area, get a little bit more recruitment because I have enough to get two more units. Then I need to take... Let's see. We're going to get two more units after this turn end. I need to make sure that my artillery... Pe I hate that they damaged my artillery! Um... I'm going to hope that we get them to full strength before we try and go anywhere near that fort. Because that fort is going to be a tough nut to gut fucking crack. Absolutely going to be a tough nut to crack. I need to make sure we have as close to a full stack army as possible. I would ideally like to be able to get some of the units from the upgraded barracks. But I don't think I'm going to have enough time. That's one thing I always find interesting. Is like I need to push as quickly as I possibly can with some of these campaigns because I can miss opportunities to strike my enemies when it'd be more advantageous for us. So again, let's go back on up this way. I'm going to have it so we'll kind of focus on attacking the same area once again. If we had more range, I think I could try and actually... Yeah, you guys only have 120. I could actually kind of try and attack from down here and shoot people, but you guys have a really short range. So let's try and have it so that... Swordsman, let's have Kaufrans and his other unit. I'll have you guys go this way. Actually, I'll put you with these guys. Put you with those guys. I have my hand gunners over here. Kaufrans and my swordsmen. And then my archers on this side. Reichsguard will kind of be over here. And mortars just kind of chill in the back. I hate that you guys are at two units. Absolutely hate that. So let's then start the battle. Start moving forward. So kind of push on up that way. And you guys as well. Because now that we have so many more men, this will be a lot easier for us to deal with. Mortars, definitely focus on the crossbowmen specifically. Focus your attention on them. I'll have it so, again, my hand gunners. If you're going to let me, I'm just going to freely move up to here. Just freely shoot you. And then I can have it so that these guys can just kind of be back up behind them. Alrighty, start clearing a path for us, men. You guys will just start unloading on this section. Hopefully they don't advance on us again like they did before. Call friends and everybody. You're trying to push your way forward here. Archers need to get a little bit closer so that you can try and actually hit these guys. Yeah, hit these swordsmen. And then call friends kind of currently in the back there. Let's have it so that, let's see, right about there. You'll buff everybody. Let's actually have call friends kind of go off to the side since you do have your war horse. I'll have you try and go off to the side here. You can try and hit these archers in the back there. Because my archers can't really hit them for right now. I'll have you kind of get a little bit closer. And Carl Franz, keep pushing forward. Let's distract these archers. And then let's see, double check on you guys. Just again, make sure they're not making their way forward. They are not. Okay. Let's have my great swords and my halberdiers make their way in. Reichsguard also kind of rush back in, kind of like you guys did before. Although they're going to let me, I might just shoot them. You guys go back. Yeah, they're, they're actually going to try and come down the alley. If they're going to try and come down the alley, I will gladly try and just shoot them. And I don't want to interrupt my riflemen. Let's see, how are you guys doing? Uh, the captain's dying pretty nicely. Mortars definitely focus on that blob next to Carl Franz. And then my swordsmen will be joining in with him after these guys are dead. So they're now out of the picture. Let's kind of have you guys... Let's let them get another volley in for a second. Archers, you're good as you are. Just kidding, keep unloading into that section there. 
And then are you guys running down the aisle? No, they turned away. That's the right decision. Okay, you guys run in. Reich's guard, let's have you go get those archers. Get those skirmishers there. And let's see. Try and let my mortars do as much as they can around here for right now. Because at the moment, they're all trying to take out Karl Franz. And it's not doing that well. So he can kind of just keep holding them. Swordsmen kind of just stay here as you are. You know, Karl Franz, keep staying where you are. Keep staying where you are. Arch is doing a good job. Here we go. Let's see how we do number-wise. Number-wise, we have number them two to one at this point. So now, once we get my men over on this side pushed through, we should be able to very easily start capturing and taking that city. Because these crossbowmen, they've already taken the least amount of damage. Reich's guard should be able to very easily finish you guys off. And then my great swords and everybody, yeah, go over to the spearmen. My rifles, let's move you guys up a little bit more. Kind of move on up there. Great swords and halberds, take out that spearman, please, for me. As soon as my uh, Reich's guard are done with that archer, I can probably have you guys try and... <laughs> okay, you're staying on your palisade even though we are right here? Sure, I don't see why, but okay. Okay, this should be just about it for them. So I'm going to get a charge in on these spearmen. And that is... Yep, that's going to break them. Perfect. Trying to move my handgunners over here. They're going to shatter before I even get into range to shoot them. Perfect. Okay. So there we go. We've now been able to take the last settlement that besides the fort. Okay. So now this is the thing. So now we need to get a little bit more. I've got five more slots of units. I'll be able to get two more during the end turn. And then, because the barracks is going to take too long to recruit. I'm, I wish, was it, okay. I could advance onto them before I have a full stack and maybe try and siege them. And try and lure them out of the city. That could possibly work. Luring out of the, them out of the fort would be ideal as it would make sure that they don't get to have access to the towers and everything. And then if we can open up on them on the field, bat, open field... Well, we should have a, a better uh, chance, hopefully. Although they'll still probably be in range of their garrison. So now again, this area. Um, I don't want to do loot and occupy, just because that conquest penalty is too bad. Just to occupy it. We're not going to get the extra punishment, sadly, but that's okay. Ooh, increased ambush success chance. That's not bad. That might help I us. Let's see, and then you also, yeah, there you go. Yeah, you have the field, so we'll get a little bit more punishment. I am Prince and Let's see, Carl Franz. So out of you... I think <laughs> I'm tempted to get some of the red line stuff right now. <laughs> but I don't know what kind of fight army I'm going to have you be. Otherwise, I might just have you just grab because I, I hate that for right now. Out of the blue line, I want to grab the attrition stuff, but that's not going to help us out early game. Late game, that will help us because of all the stuff with corruption. I think we're just going to get anything, um, increasing the missile damage on my free company, crossbowmen, huntsmen, archers, handgunners, pistolers, and outriders. Literally all my gun units, all my skirmisher units get benefits out of this. And I know I'm going to have some sort of skirmisher units in my armies at all times. So I'll grab that for Call of Friends. That means you guys have a little bit more weapon damage. Same with you. I think that's probably the best bet we can go with. Then, uh, let's get some more swordsmen and some more archers. Keep grabbing that. Um, it's two more turns until you finish that up. Because what I think we'll be doing is... I can probably move, like, right here, get one more turn of recruitment. And that would mean they're not a full stack army yet, which is good. Um, commandments available. I think for right now... We kind of want just more growth. I would like to have the more increased local recruitment, but uh, it takes one turn to kick in. So it's not going to... Although, actually... Next, actually, let's do that. One, one turn of this. So next turn, because you're at 17 right now. I haven't been able to get access to, like, my wizard or anything early on just yet. So one more turn of that. Then you'll be able to get at least up to a full stack army when you sit up here. Yeah, that's perfect. Then we can assault well with a full stack army, about the best we can get right now. And I'll try and siege Helmgard a little bit if I can. Um, for now, though, let's have a double check on diplomacy again. So, Wizardland, you guys so, are trying to like me a little bit more. I can at least get a non-aggression pact and a military access pact. I can try and ask for a little bit of money, too. So let's try and ask for that. And then, let's see. So, Nordland, nope, nothing yet. Ostermark, it's at zero. I could almost maybe get something if I offer some money. And get a non-aggression pact with you guys. Also, I'm really hoping you guys do not lose to Festus. I'm a little worried you guys might. But I'll try and get some money out of you just in case you die. Marienburg. Yeah, no, they, they absolutely hate me. And then I can't get anything out of Balthazar, sadly. 
Okay, that's that's fine. Okay, so now let's see how bad is it over here. So they've got ten units there, fourteen here. They're gonna take some more time to replenish. So I could okay. I have one of two options: assault right now, or give them one turn to recruit, and I get one turn to recruit. If I okay, if I also take one more turn. I have one more mortar. I'll be back up to full strength of my mortars. So let's go up here. Let's we'll kind of sit on the edge. And then I'll try and take one more turn to recruit. Um, I think... Let's see. Because I want to get one more of each at least. And I'm debating if we want to get... I'm just kind of surprised you guys don't have armor piercing. Because you guys have guns there. Um, you can fire whilst moving. You actually aren't a bad melee infantry combat Melee combatant. So part of me wants to just grab three of you guys, because there's a little bit of a range component there, and they would be better in melee if I have to resort to it than my archers. Let's do this. One swordsman, two free company militia. Well, you guys do have far more... You have a lot more... You have actually about the same amount of ammunition. Their melee damage, their archer range damage is better, though. There's also more of them. Let's go with the archers. Skirmishers are usually... I also did just get the upgrade for skirmishers, so let's do that. That will be Carl Franz's army for when we're ready to assault. Uh, Building-wise, I'm going to upgrade... Let's get some more growth around here. And next turn, we'll finish that building up, and I can actually start replacing some of that stuff. But next turn, we're going to see how this goes, because... We'll have a full stack army. I'm going to try and siege it. We'll try and siege the area out and see what happens. Because if they sally out, that'll probably be the best for us. And then let me double check on again. I think yes. Wizzlin, we might be able to get... Come still can't get trade with you guys. I was hoping that maybe... Because I know some of you guys are really close. Because at the moment, you are starting to like me a little bit more. It's going up. Aha! There we go. We can get something. Non-aggression pact and some money. A tiny amount of money, but it is something. Uh, and then Hodgeland. Oh, shit. I think Festus is about to kill you. Uh, please, no. I should be able to if I want to at some point later on when I start taking these lands back. Because I think for the most part, I will probably hold off on confederating, uh, confederating some of the empire forces of uh, factions around here for a little while. Um, until maybe late game. I kind of want to almost keep them all separate, actually. I kind of want to keep them alive. Um, just to properly see if I can keep them alive as proper vassals and actual electric counts. Uh, I would love that. I would love that. Instead of having to confederate them, just because I want to make it so I'm stronger, like, I don't... Eventually, we will have to. Ooh. You guys just did something interesting at Helmgart. So they've got that one guy outside. He just got set up there. Okay, this is gonna... Okay, this is gonna be ballsy, but I think this is the best we can do. So, first and foremost, Finish let me try and see... Because what? Okay, this is this will be tough. But if this works, I can lure them out of the city and have it so I just basically spawn camp. Hans Franken, uh, what was it? Frankenwater? Frankenwater? Let's see. Let's try and attack Luthor. Here. Come on, let me attack him. Damn, I was intercepted by the settlement. Um, okay. This is what we're gonna do instead. Let me withdraw. This, the settlement intercepted us, but I can still siege the settlement. Because you can't, the settlement can't intercept me. Now, what we're gonna do here is encircle. Men, I will fight what I'm hoping happens is the one of two things: either you attack me, lure this army out, and I can just fight them in melee and slaughter them, or I get to siege for one turn, deal some attrition, because that's going to be about 10% of their forces, and then I should be able to assault, possibly. But it would be better for us if you attack Karl Franz. I don't know if you're going to do that, but you might. Okay, awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. So they are going to sally out. Luthor is going to sally out. Um, what does the terrain look like here? Because that is very important. They should be kind of coming from um, the western... Um, actually, without the angle is, they should be coming in from the forest. Fuck. That's not what I want. That's definitely not what I want. But it's the best I can hope for. Um, 
Because I still think this is going to be the best chance we have here is to fight this right now. I have to fight it. I can't withdraw. But basically what we'll do is I'll have my uh, Reichsguard. I'm a little worried that it's in the forest because if that is where they're spawning, please tell me it's not. It's probably where they are. Um, my skirmishers are going to be less effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my infantry. So my Reichsguard, go fuck up Luthor. <laughs> go fuck up Luthor. Kill him. And then I'll have it so that I'm going to set all my... Yep, they are spawning right in the... Fuck. Okay. We can still do this. We can still do this. I can still do a lot of damage to them if I, like, basically spawn camp them as they're rushing into the forest. I'm ambushing them through the forest. Um, it's just my mortars are going to be more difficult to use. Because my mortars are going to hit so many things. So let's grab all of you guys. And I'm going to have Carl Franz. Carl Franz, especially because he has that buff to melee attack and melee defense for my infantry. you got to be over here. I've got all my archers, my mortars. I'm going to... It's going to suck. I'll try and push you over here and see if you can help. Re uh, Reichsguard, again, you're going to be over here. Start the battle. Go fuck that one guy up yourselves. And then let's do this. So what we're going to do... We should have enough time to get set up. So kind of go to, like, right there. Hand gunners for sure, like, right over here. Right there. Archers, kind of... Let's see. Well, mortars first, mortars first. I think mortars, like... This is going to suck either way, but I think, like... Try to have it so you're not next to some trees. So, like, right there. Let's try right there. Archers. Let's have, like, three of you here. Three of you here. And then we'll have to see how this goes. Because if I can kind of hold them in this spot, make sure that they get to, like, especially my handgunners. If my handgunners can just freely shoot into this area, I can get a lot of damage. And my mortars, I have to hope they can hit the enemy here, because I should be able to blob them up immensely. Luthor here shouldn't really be able to do anything. You're gonna... You should get your ass kicked by my cab here. Then once you're done with him, make sure he dies. I don't want to let him get away, so make sure you kill him. Because Carl Franz has to be over here. He has to be ready for them, because it's another 30 seconds. Infantry should be able to get in position. You all have guard position. Good. Carl Franz can stay around here. Ideally, we want to kill the general as quickly as possible. So here they come. So here they come. Increase attack speed. And gunners are unloading into this section here. And this is gonna this is gonna be interesting. So they are blobbed up here. Try and focus around this spot, my mortars, if you can. Try and focus there. Call friends. Kind of focus on the swordsman, actually. Um, and then my archers, like you three. Um, I need to move you guys a little bit closer. Let's move you guys up a little bit more. Actually, no, shoot here. I don't know why you guys aren't shooting. Shoot those archers there. Because my hand gunners, you're good. You guys are trying number-wise. Let's see. So it's 2,500 to 1,800. So there's a 700-man difference. And all the men that are around here do get some benefits, which is good. So I'll call friends to keep trying to kill some of their just generic infantry for right now. I do want to kill you, but I think I need to use that my skirmishers to do that or something. How am I guys doing here? Uh, I'm doing a little bit of damage. Not as much as I would like. We are killing a lot of them. You're doing a lot. My infantry is doing a lot as well. Yeah, keep that up. Uh, how are you guys doing over here? He's starting to win that. He better not. Because my mortars at least seem to be doing well. My mortars are hitting some good shots here. So keep that up. Keep trying to hit this area around their general. And at the moment, my skirmishers are trying to shoot into this area. You're slowly killing them off. Yeah, you're getting some really good hits back here. You guys are not fighting anybody. Kind of push on in there. Because if we can get one section to start being able to flank a little bit more. Oh, like you. Yeah, you kind of move up here a little bit more. Actually, kind of just push into these archers more. Push on in that way a little bit more there. Call friends. Your ability's almost back up again. Okay, you guys are, like, hitting nothing. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. You're wasting a lot of ammo and not really doing that much. Archers haven't really been able to do much either. This is what I hate that we're in the fucking forest. My archers are just doing nothing. I'm trying to adjust you guys like there. And you guys too. Kind of move you guys up. You're doing a little bit, but not a ton. My mortars so far... Oh, there you go. Yeah, 16,000 damage on my mortars. There you go. 
You are starting to lose to this guy. Uh, if anything, I'm gonna pull, I'll pull you guys a little bit further uh, in a second. But for right now, I think I need you to stay as you are. You guys can keep pushing in there. Keep attacking them. Great swords. Keep pushing in as well. Hope you guys have a bit of a better angle here. Oh, that's much better. Much better. Yeah, that's doing a lot more damage. Um, this area is kind of struggling. I'm actually going to take some of you guys, some of my archers here. Let's move you to here to shoot this spot. Mortars, let's try and hit. Let's see, so. Oh, no, right there. Not there. There, right there. Try and hit this spot now, because you've done a decent amount of damage here. This spot's doing well. Call friends, keep giving some more bonuses there. Um, let's start having you try and focus on their general now. Because try and do some damage to him. Hopefully you'll be able to win in single combat against him. Archers also kind of shoot this spot here. Again, keep him distracted as long as you can. I don't want to let him make his way over here and drastically change the, uh, sway the battle in their favor. Because the moment this is going well, but my infantry is slowly dying. My skirmishers are trying to do what they can. Mortars are trying to do as much as they can as well. Starting to, oh, there we go. Enemy lord is wounded. Yeah, go call friends. Kick his ass. So now, with him dead, I'm hoping they'll start breaking. I'm hoping they're going to start shattering now that their lord is dead. Because if that's the case, these units I think are about to break. I can have it so that Carl Franz can make his way back over here to help out you. I need to save my Reich Guard. I can't let them die. But they've done an important job of holding Luther back for right now. Yeah, because all these guys are breaking. There you go. Yeah, keep pushing them. Keep pressuring them there. I'm going to probably have it so that Carl Franz, I think I'm going to try and get you out of here. Let's get you out of there. Let's go have you go help out with Luthor. Try and make your way over there and help kill him. Because he's doing really well against my Reichsguard. I don't like that. Let's have you try and take him out. Let's see. So my archers are out of ammo. You guys, I think, can kind of push on over this way. Kind of surround them. These archers get a little bit closer. And hand gunners, I'll try and push up here. I just don't know if you guys will be able to get the best angle. Like, let's have you guys kind of go back here a little bit more. Carl Franz, you're almost too close there. We just need to break them a little bit more. We do outnumber them now at this point. It's just my infantry taking a huge beating. Call friends. You guys started off so well, and then he started kicking your asses. It's, it's Carl Franz is almost here. I think at this point, let's kind of pull you back a little bit. Let's let Carl Franz get a good hit on him. Oh, or not. Yeah, there you go. Now get back over here. Help Carl Franz. All of you together. Finish him off. I think once Luther's dead, they'll be done. They've got a couple guys still left that aren't even made their way onto the map yet. But I don't think it's going to matter. Because I think these guys, you're being shot at by my hand gunners. Oh, my, actually, my hand gunners aren't shooting you. Let's move a little bit closer. Move a little bit closer, get a couple more shots in, and I think that should break these guys. Because their morale is already breaking. They're already pretty low. Yeah, there you go, hand gunners. Yeah, mortars aren't doing much. But you guys did a lot. Oh, nice! 33,000 damage. I was a little worried my mortars might not be that effective, but no, you guys did okay. Is that it? Are you guys gonna give up? Luther's running. Um. You, you guys done? Because I don't see anything else. I think he might be Luther. Yeah, he's trying to come back. Oh, there they go. <laughs> They're just taking long enough to spawn in. And, okay, so there's still a couple units left the Crossbowmen, Crossbowmen, and Empire Knights. That's all they've got now at this point. Okay, so call friends, kind of make your way back over here. The, uh, oh, why? oh yeah, you're just out of ammo. Um, Reichsgar deserve a break. Uh, let's just finish them off, because they've got a couple of crossbowmen here. All my skirmishers are out of ammo. So I can rush you guys into melee to kind of help finish them off. And there we go. Not bad. I was a little worried that the forest would have fucked us over. But nah, my infantry did amazingly. Carl Franz got 10,000 damage there. Everybody did a decent amount of damage. Not bad, guys. Not bad. The mortar, though. The mortar carried that fight. Because I was kind of worried you were going to hit the trees too often. They did occasionally. But they didn't hit them often enough that it was going to negatively affect us. 
But now, they... Let's see, so we basically took out... They've got 1,000 guys left. They had almost 3,000 there before. So we took them down to about a third of their original force. They took out about a third of my army. So that's not bad. And now we should be able to ideally just walk straight into the uh, fort here, and the Empire Secessionists will be dealt with. So we did win that. I'm going to take the replenishment, because I desperately need more replenishments. So definitely take that. And then we will try and assault that in at the start of the next turn, I believe. Because they'll take some attrition there, so I think we should be able to just kind of walk straight on in after this. Ideally. There's Helmgart there. Let's see. Um, I want the money. <laughs> I want the money, but I think we should refuse this creature. We are poor early on here. Quest oh. has been issued, mighty lord. Hello. A great adventure beckons. Be wary, though. For ah. the potential rewards are great. So Reichlin Runefang. What enemy forces they have. So this is some Norskin armies up there. I definitely am not able to do that right now. Oh, that'd be nice. That ability would be nice. But I definitely don't have a, the chance to get there right now. Okay, so I'll have to hold off on that. Skull smashes are dead. And then, let's see. So now, how bad is it around here? So, call friends. Let's see. So we assault... Decisive victory. I will not lose any of my units. I am actually surprised by that. I will take it. I'll take that, and then I will, um... I can use a little bit more money. Yeah, to grab every tiny little bit I can. Grab that, and then let's clear out Helmgard here. Occupy it. And now, my hope is that I do not have to deal with any goddamn orcs from the south. Because ideally now, we have this all secure for ourselves. I could, now again, this kind of gives us multiple avenues of expansion now at this point. We can either, um, the way I see it, let's see, look at uh, attitude. So, at the moment, oh, as there's some orcs up there, uh, they don't like me all that much. So, it's either we kind of can go west, or we could go east. I think at the moment we might ignore Sylvania for right now. I think we can ignore Sylvania, and I kind of want to, I think we should maybe, I kind of want to push up the Karaburg, honestly. We can push up into these orcs. Give that land back over to Mindheim so they like me a little bit more. And kind of gather some strength and prepare for... I, wa I want to invade Marienburg. I want to invade them for sure. So let's see. Over here though, let's kind of repair this region. And then I do have this fully under my control. Um, this area technically... Uh, let's just get the growth and the increased uh, yeah, trade terrorist faction wide. Because for the most part, I don't think this area... This doesn't have any public order for this region, so we should be okay. Um, let's see. So I do have access to a couple more units. I now have Spearmen with shields. Those guys are also a little bit cheaper, too. Uh, Carl France has quite a few rank-ups here. here. So, let's see. I've got three points. Let's do this. So I'm going to grab all of these to make sure that I have more ammunition and more missile strength for my skirmishers. Then let's start getting the... Oh, actually, first, let me see. Um, ooh. That would be bad. Do just some upkeep on those guys. That has a little bit more money, but I think we kind of hold off. Let me get the reduced attrition uh, bit there, because I know we're going to want to max it out at some point, but I want to slowly get there. Uh, we'll need to take some time around here to kind of gather our forces back up. I do think we'll kind of try and make our way backward towards Altdorf uh, after this, and I think we're going to try and get rid of these uh, greenskins. I think getting rid of those greenskins and giving that land back over to Midnheim would not be a bad way to get them to like me more. Uh, let me do start upgrading this area here. And then start upgrading that as well there. Um, diplomacy again. Let's check this out. So Wizenland, can I trade with you guys? Yes, I can, finally. So trade with you guys. Get a little bit of money. And then let's see who else. So Nordlin. Nope. Ah, it's, it's close. I'd, I'd have to give you 300. Fuck you. <laughs> no. Um, Ostland here. Still no. I might be able to do something with Ostermark. Nope, still not yet. What? what about Hoshland? Oh, I can not like military access with you guys. I might actually want to, yeah, again, another reason maybe we want to go up north is so we can try and help out with, uh, get rid of Festus. I really don't want him to kill my land, my forces yes. up there. All right. the Let's see, Golden No, nothing around here with you guys. Yes. Okay. Uh, although, actually, uh, I should try and talk to Bretonia a little bit. Uh, Bastone does not like me. Um, you actually didn't like my war with the military at uh, the Empire Secessionists. Interesting. I do have a non-aggression pact already with uh, Leon Kerr. Uh Nothing I can get from there right now. That's okay, but... I might have to not deal with specifically uh, the Orcs and actually Bretonia from myself. Hopefully not. 
I'm gonna hope that they don't decide to attack me there. That would suck. Hello, Marienberg. What would you like to discuss? Oh, f mm, fuck you. God damn it. I was hoping that maybe you guys would have given me some time to try and uh, deal with the orcs, but no. So they are just besieging Aleheart immediately. Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> the orcs that I was going to attack are helping me? Hmm. Interesting. Fuck it. Let's help them. <laughs> Literally, the orcs I was just about to start making my way up with uh, call friends to try and kill are coming out here. Okay. Sure. Um, very interesting. Uh, am I the first one attacking or is it my allies? No, I'm the one reinforcing. Okay, I'm the one reinforcing. I will stay back and, you know, actually, I will try and deal with their backline. I will... <laughs> Empire and orcs working together about their com uh, around their common enemy. Marienburg, those uh, fucking pricks. <laughs> Let's deal with them instead of fighting each other. Why not? Shh, th this is interesting. I, l I love this, that if you're common enemies with somebody. I love this new little tidbit where, like, I'm just randomly helping orcs now. For whatever reason. Yeah, sure. Uh, you go fight these guys. Soften them up. Carl Franz will be making his way over here next turn and uh, mopping these guys up and be able to make his way directly to Marienburg, thankfully, which will be great. Uh, seems like you're actually trying to group up with us. I can kind of see why. You are a little beat up, but that's fine. You're a bunch of orcs. I don't care about any of your lives. I want you to uh, throw all of your lives away because that'll just make it easier for Mindheim and myself to push into your lands eventually. Let's see, it's another... 30 seconds. They don't have my forces. I've got six units of infantry and one crossbow unit. So I'll try and have it so that we'll primarily help with surrounding and kind of flanking the enemy. Because if we can get to their artillery pieces in the back, we might be able to do quite a bit. Because see, there we go. So there's me. So now let me grab my forces. So I'm going to start pushing my way over around the corner. I'm going to try and take this high ground area here. Because now I think you guys want to just... Because you're the ones that are attacking, so I don't know why you're not going with us. But let's kind of push our way over here. Make our way over to this side, and we'll try and see if we can take the high ground from them. Okay, I've got the high ground! <laughs> we can support our friends on the battlefield. They're not allies, but friends, I'll say. Um, we can, let's start trying to make sure we're going to try and focus on flanking for the most part. I want to try and deal with their skirmishers and with their artillery pieces, who are currently sitting there. They've got some mortars over there. They've got some, and these are goblin riders. They're just trying to help out. They've got a lot of skirmishers. I only have the one crossbow bin, which kind of worries me in some regard. Number-wise, it's pretty close. We do outnumber them slightly. I'm just going to hope that we keep some of my guys alive in the end. I'm not going to commit too much. Again, I want to make sure that they throw most of their guys away. Oh, that mortar's pretty vulnerable. Let's move you guys up there. Crossbow's right here. Get a little bit closer. Actually, they're about to be hit with by those spearmen. Perfect. Yeah, at the first sign of um, all, like mass routing from the uh, goblins here, I'm fucking running. <laughs> as soon as that happens, I'll be trying to run as, as far away as I possibly can. But for right now, we can actually do quite a bit. So like, let's have you guys go rush over there. Try and help out with that mortar there. You can try and make your way over here. Same with you. These two keep trying to run a little bit further past them and try and go to those archers they've got right there. My crossbows... You can just kind of unload into the backs of these men. And, hey, it doesn't matter if you hit the goblins. Hit either one. It works. So take out their mortar, at least. That's something. Uh, these spider riders are dying. That's kind of to be expected, honestly. Because you guys rush over there. You two will be trying to flank around here. And try and get to that crossbow, that archer if you can. They still have their outriders, number-wise. Uh, still 500-man difference. The Empire endures! For the most part, this is going well. Let's see this guy. Because you guys should be speaking about this archer unit. Let's have you kind of surrounded right around here. Let's have you kind of keep pushing around the other side a little bit more. Crossbows, let's move you a little bit closer. I want you to actually try and help out this spot. I would say maybe try and hit the uh, outriders. Cav is going to be a little bit of an issue for the goblins. Not so much for me. We have a lot of spearmen. So we can try and do that. Actually, no. Do you hit this? Yeah, hit this spearman. Hit this one spearman here. Try and prevent them from reinforcing their allies. Because we've got quite a few guys uh, flanked here. I wish I had some cab units. Sadly, I don't. 
So I'll have you just keep trying to hit the Outriders. Bounce of Power is going up slowly in our favor. There's about a 600 man difference right now. Keep trying to take out the Calf, because the Calf can do a lot of damage to the Goblins. All of my units so far do feel like they're winning their fights. Uh, I don't like you guys coming back, so let's have my crossbows turn their attention over to you guys. Uh, I'm actually going to have you try and help out over here as well, since that unit's now dead and running away. There you go. And bounce power is slowly ticking up in our favor. Still about a 600 man difference at this point in time. This area entirely is almost pretty much dead. It's losing there. Those crossbowmen kind of want to run them off the map, so you try and do that. Uh, this unit is still fighting. Make sure you keep focusing on those archers. Okay, that one unit, I'm going to just run you off with the spear unit. Uh, you need to try and help us out. They're trying to attack us with the spearmen. Crossbows keep trying to run. These guys are dead for the most part. Let's have uh, one of you kind of go over here to the side. One of you go up around this way. One of you go around this way. Oh, actually, those are some cab units over there. Uh, both these spearmen that I've got over here. Actually, help out. Help out with that outrider. You try and help out this unit right here. Because this area we've cleared. That unit sound ran off the map. Get back over here. Yeah, keep shooting into the spearmen to finish them off. Because Bounce... I think we're actually going to win against the Marienburg army. <laughs> then Karl Franz can easily just walk back over this way and push straight to Marienburg. Because these goblins decided to help me out. And I love that. This area over here is still going to be a bit of a struggle. And uh, my allies have like... No, allies. My friends. My acquaintances. Uh, don't have a lot. So I have to kind of focus most of my attention over there. You guys go there. Let's move up this way. Those units are all running away. Get these spearmen over here. These crossbows kind of move up here. Take this high ground advantage point a little bit. Okay, now you guys can hit them from here. Perfect. So start unloading with my crossbows. I'm moving my infantry into position. Bounds of power wise, we outnumber them two to one now at this point. The enemy lord, Emil von Corden, is still alive. But as soon as I get my infantry into position, I think we should be able to surround you guys and hopefully break them. So let's kind of push on in this way. You guys are push in from more up around here. Because there are like no goblins left at this point besides their lord. That's the only unit they have left at this point now. Now they've got some archers, but that's not a lot to say, honestly. But my brave empire spearmen are charging on in. Surrounding these men. Let's have you guys now kind of push on in as well. My crossbow, I should probably honestly try and hit their lord. Focus him down, but I think I'm going to have you keep focusing on the infantry. Because at the moment, things are going well for us. Bounce power-wise, still in our favor. There are still a couple of goblin... Oh, there! No, there we go. They all broke. Yeah! If you guys can, try and run them down. Try it. Why not? Because at the moment here, there's a lot of troops around here still. Okay. I wasn't able to properly catch them, but that's fine. This is the weirdest, like, point, I, like, end point, I think, for this video for today, honestly. The fact that Marienburg decided to attack me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. They kind of disliked me already. I was going to be declaring war on them anyways. But the fucking goblins. Hey, Greebits. Thank you for that. Greebits, you're an MVP. I love you, man. I will try and not kill you so soon. I'll leave you be for now. As it was beneficial for you to attack Emil for me here. And now I'll be able to have Karl Franz make his way up this way. Uh, he still needs a little bit more replenishment. But that right there, that should have gotten rid of that mortar of theirs, hopefully. Because if I can get rid of that mortar of theirs, that will make it a lot easier for me to push on into Marienburg. And I won't have to wait nearly as long to get reinforcements. Did I take out the mortar? Yes, I did take out the mortar. Nice. So, I honestly just want the money. Let's take the money. Yeah, take the extra cash. Because they got their asses kicked there, hilariously enough. And he's still alive. Emil is still alive over there. Hoshlin's dead. Shit. Uh, Skull takes the dead. And then, yeah, we know that was Siege, but they stopped. So, yeah. Damn it, Festus killed them. Okay, I should be able to get them back here, though. Um, oh, what's going on? Why is my Imperial Authority declining? Let's see, suppose, uh... That's not good. Why is it declining? I, I was hoping it would tell me why. Is it because... You're dead? I think it's because you died. Okay. We will have to try and get over there as quickly as we possibly can. For now, though, Carl Franz does have to make his way up here. 
I don't have enough movement to hit you, sadly. But I will bring Call Franz up here to Isleheart. I'll bring you up this way. We're going to be pushing on into Marienburg. Uh, I think we'll be probably trying to... Let's merge some of these guys together. I want to try and have it so that we can just recruit yes. some more men to replace you. So we can move out a little bit sooner. It's so like right there. And then let's grab the um, Spearman. Oh, I can actually have four. Uh, I might just... Oh, you've got two rank ups already. I think what we're going to do is... Let me just grab some Spears of Shields. Because I don't have any um, anti-large really in this army right now. So let's grab that. Call Franz does have a rank up the here for us. Calls. I think for Call Franz, I'm going to keep grabbing this. Especially if we're going to be dealing with Festus at some point soon. So let's grab that. I Fire think, though, comments. this is honestly probably a pretty good place to end this video for right now. Um, we have the counterattack against... Um, Marienburg, which we need to kind of push on into. You're weak, so I think it's best for us to try and push now while we can. And then I would like to try and get another army over here. I'm going to hope that maybe you guys just take this back. You might colonize that, honestly, and then maybe we'll be okay. Maybe my field 2 would go back up, but right now it's at minus 2. It's declining. I do not like that. That's not good. So we'll have to try and see what we can do to try and improve that. I honestly, I haven't been able to fully dedicate myself to a full campaign since their rework for the Empire. So I actually, if you guys have any tips, I would gladly appreciate them. But I think this is going to be a pretty good place to end this video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this campaign and any other thoughts you have on it in, uh, in general. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time.